Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will show you some more really cool transmog items that you will be able to get during season one of the War Within. So as you will see, we have a few more cool items that in my opinion are pretty exciting. First, let's talk about this new Harvester transmog set that as you can see, looks super, super cool. So basically you have the entire set. I'm pretty sure we will also probably have a helm at some point, but so far we have all these different items. So I really like here, of course, the back piece. I really like the glove and the entire set in itself is really, really cool and super high res. So this is the first color that you will be able to get. Then after that, we also have this over one right here, which I think is even better. Uh, so this one is really, really nice. And then after that, we also have, I believe, a third one, which again, I think looks also really cool. So these are, again, all the different sets you will be able to get. I'm not sure exactly how, but all we know is that you will be able to get this full set in different color variations at some point in the War Within. So then we also have this over color scheme right here. And actually, I'm not sure... Yeah, after that, it's just to show the new additions to the set, which are this big claw and also, I believe, the back piece. So I'm very excited for all of these. I just hope they're not going to be simple, like shop transmog sets or things like that. I do hope you will be able to get them either from the training post or from other activities in game. But nonetheless, these are really nice. So after that, we have some interesting items. And as you can see, these are some veggie weapons that you will be able to get again in the war within. So first we have this uh, leak that as you can see you will be able to get probably as a mace or as a sword, something like that. And then after that we also have this garlic that you will be able to have as a off-end item, I'm pretty sure. So I think this is pretty fun. Uh, this is definitely unique. And again, I'm not exactly sure how you will be able to get them, but I do hope it's linked to the profession cooking. I think that could be really cool in order to motivate people to do a few more things with cooking in the War Within. So after that, we have some other cool weapons coming in the War Within. So I already reviewed some of these different Night Elf weapons that will be added. As you can see, for instance, we have these different glaives right here, but then apparently you will also be able to get the double-sided dagger version of these different glaives, which I think is really cool. And again, apparently this is the first time that we will get some of these daggers. So I think this is very exciting. And I hope that a lot of people will be able to get them and use them because yeah, that really is cool. And then of course you have the normal one-sided uh, version of these different daggers, which I think are okay. Uh, so definitely I'm very, very excited for these different items. Then we also have these different runic axes, which are pretty interesting. Again, they go very well probably with a lot of different transmog items that will be linked to the new allied race in the War Within. So I think they look pretty cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we're getting some like new models and things that haven't been done in the past. And I do think this one, for instance, is very unique. Uh, so definitely happy with this one. And then after that, we'll also have Shalamane, which basically is the version of the sword from Endwin and also Varian. And so I think this is a really cool model. Uh, I think it looks super clean. I mean, I really, really, really like it. And again, I'm not sure exactly how you will be able to get it, but I hope you will have to just do quite a lot in order to get your hands on this really cool weapon. And I'm not sure exactly if it will be a two-handed sword or a one-handed sword, but maybe what could be cool is that you do exactly as the thing that Varian was doing in the cinematic, which is basically having this as a two-handed sword, and then you can click on it to create two one-handed sword instead. I think that could be pretty cool. So after that, we also have a few more weapons from the new raid, and I already reviewed some of them but we have some new exciting ones as well. So as you can see, for instance, we have all these different ones right here. So we have the Arator Watering Can, uh, then we also have the Arator Brush, that actually doesn't really look like a brush, that's just my personal opinion. Then we have the Mallet, we also have the Mug, and we have the Earthen Pitcher and Kettle. 
So I think these are all really, really fun. And uh, again, I think nice additions to the game. And then we also have some more gardening tools. So we have the garden hoe, the garden rake, and also the shovel. And again, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will be happy because these look actually really, really cool. And now that we have some actual veggie weapons as well, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going to do some cool cooking, farming, trend smoke sets in the War Within. So the last few things that I want to show you are the updates for the different tier sets. So first, we finally have the Elm and the full appearance for the Paladin set. So as you can see, with the Elm, it looks like that. So it's still, I mean, in my opinion, yeah, not like the best. I still agree with a lot of people that the wings are a little bit awkward and could have been maybe bigger, better placed. I mean, I think there's a lot of potential with this set, but the execution is not that good. Uh, but still, so with the Elm, it's definitely still like better and I think the Elm looks pretty cool. Then we also have the same update for the Demon Hunter set. We were missing the FX on the set and also the belt. And so as you can see, the effect is also really, really nice. Uh, and um, I mean, the belt is also pretty cool. And so I do think with the effects and the belt, it adds a lot to this set. And I do think this set is actually really, really nice. One thing I would have liked is that the effect was also on the back piece or at least the pants here on these different parts. I think that could have been even better. But in my opinion, this is a really, really nice set. And I know a lot of people are not a big fan of this set, but personally, I think this looks super, super cool and very unique. So I'm very, very happy with this set overall. And now we also have parts of the new Warlock set. So we're still missing the Shaman, the Priest and the Mage set. And as you can see for the Warlock, we're still missing the shoulders and the waist, which of course are pretty big. But still, as you can see, this is what it will look like. And again, keep in mind, there are no waist or shoulders on this set for now. Uh, I still think it looks actually really nice. I do love the headpiece. I think the headpiece actually looks super, super cool. I've seen a few people complain, but in my opinion, I'm really happy with it. Uh, and I do think that the shoulders are probably going to be super nice as well. So for instance, when you see this one, I mean... For me, this is a banger and I'm pretty sure that again with the shoulders and the belt and the probably like last remaining things, this set is going to be an amazing set overall. Um, so this is again all I have to share for you for now. As you can see, you can also see it on a female character. Uh, but personally, I'm very excited for all these new sets and all these new transmog items that we will be able to get in the war with it. So let me know in the comments what you think about all these different sets, if you're excited or not. And yeah, I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.